One Christmas, I accidentally put the wrong address in my mum's sat-nav, and instead of driving to Lakeside, she drove all the way to the Lake District. <laughs> right, Dave, David's team. Geographically, where was the starting point? Well, well, it was London, yeah. It was a long time ago. It was when the, the sat-nav, remember it was called Tom Tom? <laughs> I think I just put it in wrong. And well, then, yes, and obviously, like... that's not a detailed explanation no. of what went awry. What so would what, you like what, to know? What did you do? Type in the word lakeside. I stuck in LA, put in the first couple of letters, and then it predicts the word for you. You put LA in, your mother what? drove off towards Los no. Angeles, and you went, stop, stop. <laughs> and you <laughs> saved it with a K. Yes. And then you said, right, fine, that's fine. There can't be more than one place beginning L-A-K. <laughs> it finished Lake Windermere, off she drove. No, what I, would, I, I must have put in the lake and then it, it filled the rest in and I must have pressed, just pressed Lake District, taking yeah. for granted that. And, and you are saying, with a straight face, that your mum, was it just your mother? No, it wasn't my mum. It was my mum and her next-door neighbour, Debbie. Right. They just kept driving until it got dark. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then... And then what my mum said was, is that they got so scared because it was just them two in the car and they didn't know where they were going. My mum doesn't know how to do the, the top, the sat nav and all that business. Um, that they thought it would be safer just to continue to where they were going <laughs> and then just work out what to do the next day. So they went to the Lake District. They arrived in the Lake District? Yes. It but took them, like, the six hours. Yeah, they got... <laughs> it took, what, six hours? Yeah, they, 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 they took some wrong turns. So they had to get a hotel and stay in the no. Lake I swear... <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you. So, 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 we've been doing this show for many years, and Rob has never, in the middle of it, gone, no. <laughs> so, so after about three hours in, they got so far that they weren't going to come back in the same day. They were going to continue and stay where they were. Yeah. They, Debbie phoned her husband, which I think they should have done a lot earlier because he <laughs> he's a cab driver. Even if he wasn't, it would make sense really to make contact. So what do they do, Joe? They, they, did they stay over there? They stayed over. And they, then what? I got a phone call. Yeah. They, they were fuming. They, they were must have been livid. The thing was, like that, my mum didn't know where anything was. She didn't know how to get to places. So she would follow that sat nav, regardless whether it took her into the sea, she'd be in the sea. She'd follow it. <laughs> so and she... yet you put the destination in with such little care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just didn't think I was going to. Honestly, when, when she told me, even I was surprised. <laughs> 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 I was the same questions as you asked, like, why didn't you come home? Why did you stay? <laughs> None of it made sense to me either. But the one thing she said was, <laughs> is that they were very scared, they didn't know where they were going, so they just carried on following the blue line to the end of the destination. <laughs>